No Both teams are lining up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one underway. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. taken down at the 38. He got the ball and he was off like a shot. This guy has some big time speed. From their own 38 yard line. First down. Here we go. Tackle made at the 50. They're packed in tight on the line. They'll knock him down for a loss. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. From their own 49 yard line, second down. And they get nice yardage on that run. Call it a gain of four yards. That makes it third and seven. Right, right, right. Watch the run, watch the run. Check 13, check 13. Set, green 90, green 90. He's scrambling, got the corner. He's at the 30, and he's tackled at the 22-yard line. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. From the 22-yard line, first down. Bring him down at the 20. Call it a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Come this way, come this way. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. 31's the mic. Here we go. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. This is the eighth play of this drive. it to the back. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. They're about four yards away here on second down. And down he goes around the seven yard line. Two yard loss for the halfback. That'll make it 35. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Three down, three down. Three down, three down. Let's go, let's go. Hey, we got Mike, number 53. Ready, Mike, 53. Ready. 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 Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. South Florida is looking to go up by three. Kicks up, and it's through the uprights. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Navy's staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I, I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. Uh, you know, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that, you see teams circle the wagons. And I, and I really believe this week they've done a great job of doing that. Now they just have to go out and execute the plan and go out and win this game. He's to the 40. Tackle at the 45-yard line. Anytime this guy carries the ball and gets a little space, we could be talking about six. First down. Ready? Get him! Get him! Get him! 
They'll drop in for a loss. Really good play here and run support by the linebacker. The big guys up front took away the running lanes, and he was able to get through for a loss. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on their own 43. Here we go! And they'll get him in the backfield. You've got to admire the intensity that these linebackers bring to the table. As soon as he saw it was staying on the ground, he made a beeline for the ball carrier. Tackles him hard at the 33. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Brought down at the 24-yard line. Quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. South Florida is up by three. With the pass incomplete. This wide receiver is very frustrated. You can tell by his body language. He did everything he needed to do to get open to be able to make a big play. The quarterback just didn't put the ball in the money. So the referee is going to take a look at several angles. Now, remember, he's seeing the same thing we are, and he needs indisputable video evidence to overturn the call. After, After reviewing review the, play, the play, the ruling, the ruling on, the on the field is, is reversed. reversed. So they'll overturn the call and rule this a completion. There was a bad call made on the field, but they were able to fix it because of the replay. This is exactly why the booth review is a great thing for college football. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. That makes it second and 10. From their own 37-yard line, second down. You got nothing. 31's the back. 180! Play! Here comes the pressure. And he hits him hard at the 43 yard line. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. South Florida has a three-point lead. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Great job by the punter of getting the ball inside the 20 and turning over field position for his defense. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Four yards there on the option to the fullback. They'll make the sack. You know, the quarterback, I think, could have done a better job with a pre-snap read to be able to see and recognize the blitz. That way, he could have communicated and maybe adjusted the protection up front. That time, a miscommunication by the offensive lineman against the blitz freed up the defensive line to get the pressure on the quarterback. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. They'll bring him down at 
the 40-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Picks up a yard. One thing about this linebacker over the years that separates him from the rest are his instincts and ability to make the play. That's a nice tackle by the senior. From the 39-yard line, second down. South Florida holds a field goal lead. Green 88. Green 88. He gets to about the 31 yard line. First down grab by the receiver. From the 28 yard line, it's first down. the stop right around the 20. That makes it second and two. Larry, Larry. What's the fight? Hey, watch that, Kate. What's the ball? Here we go. Brought down around the 21 yard line. Sometimes a play is not going to work for whatever reason. Doesn't mean you throw the play away. You just need to execute better next time. And so it's another third down upcoming here. He's on the run. And he's taken down at the 17-yard line. And he gets a yard on the run. One yard. That brings up second and nine. And this play is number eight on the drive. Three down, three down. 31's the mic. Green, 88. Fires it out. He's tackled right around the four-yard line. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. First and goal from the four. They're knocking on the door. South Florida is up a field goal. He's taken down right around the two-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. The Bulls use their second timeout. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line deep. Touchdown, South Florida! This kid is a really reliable weapon. You definitely want the football in his hands near the end zone, and he showed you why right there. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A 10-play, 41-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lanes. So our score, 10-0. And they can forget about returning this one. The last time this offense had the ball, it was three and out. He gets rid of this one. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Looks middle, got his back. Tackle made around the 37-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Caught out in the open. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 42-yard line. From their own 42-yard line. It's third down. D-line, get that quarterback. 
Looks left, finding his tailback, and he is drilled at the 46-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Now he's scrambling. That's a great tackle at the 48. Navy will take their first time out of the half. So the sack makes this a second and long. 47 yard line. The quarterback really kept his boys under pressure and delivered a pretty nice little ball right there. You don't have to go deep every play to be successful. They got five yards on the play, and that's always a good game. Caught, and this is going to be a first down. And he's level at the 31. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. He's going to try and scramble. He's at the 20. Slides down to the ground. Navy's going to have to use their second time out of the half. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Here's the extra point to get within a field goal. And he converts the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. Well, it's always fun to be part of a defensive battle. That's certainly what we have right now. Yeah, give credit to both of these defenses. I mean, they, they're playing with a lot of energy, and I think they're doing a nice job up front at the line of scrimmage. And at this point, they're not giving this either of these offenses a chance to make a play. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And he's tackled right away. Throws it in a hurry. That's four yards on the play. You don't have to throw it deep to have success. Any sort of completion can help boost an offense's confidence. It's second and six. Ball on their own 23. South Florida is up by three. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. And the defense picks it up to the 20. Tackled after a decent pickup. So the offense turns over the pigskin. The ball carrier here was just careless in handling the ball and a great awareness by the defense to jump on it. Now, I think this defense right now needs somebody to try to lift up their spirits. They seem to really be just out there kind of going through the motions, and I think the last time they were out there when they gave up such a long drive has had an impact and an effect negatively on the psyche of this defense. Navy will take their last time out. So with a half ending, they're just going to try to put three points up on the board. He gets it up, and he got it. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. They're packed in tight on the line. They'll wrap.
wrestle him down in the backfield. We've played a half and a 10 10 tie in this game. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Defense has been in total control in the first half, and you'd think maybe the offense's confidence was shaken. But if you want to look at the entire team picture, David, how big a deal is it for an offense to know, look, if we can just put together one, maybe two good scoring drives, our defense has got our back. Well, a lot of times when you know you have a defense, it's great, too, is you build your offense around it. And when I say that, why do I need to take chances? You know, if it's third and long, I don't mind throwing a five-yard pass. And if I break a tackle, I get a first down. I mean, don't put my defense that's dominant, that's great, in a bad position. And, and you can afford to be more conservative. You see it every single year. What do we always talk about here at ESPN? We talk about you, you defense wins championships, and that's how you win ball games. And you see it consistently unfold. So if I'm building an offense, let's just not put my great dominant defense in a bad position. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some astro turf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. They'll bring him down around the 22-yard line. That was well defended by this defense. The offensive line is so concerned with their penetrating abilities that these linebackers are able to roam free and make plays like that. It's second and 13. Ball on the 22. Huge play for both the quarterback and receiver, but it all starts with the big fellas up front who provided the time to get the quarterback a chance to throw. And down he goes at the 15-yard line. That's good for being a great loss. That makes it second and two. The 10. Touchdown, Navy. And he tacks on the extra point. So a five-play, 75-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. So the score now, 17-10. Navy's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they've just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. The defense got a great push and blew that play up well behind the line of scrimmage. That'll bring up second. Second down, and they've got 15 for the first down. Ball on their own 20. Let's go, let's go. Hey, we got money. And they make the stop at the 33. 
That'll bring up third and two. First and ten. Ball on their own 45. Let's go. They'll get in for a loss. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. That'll bring up second and 11. to pick up the first down. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on a carry. And he tackles him hard at the 48-yard line. And that was a big stop defensively. Yeah, they only needed a few yards here to keep the drive alive. Great job by the defense to shut them down. The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. Pitches it, he's got the corner. He's knocked out of bounds, right around the 40. Navy, up seven points. Pitches it, and he's got a lane. Runs it left for a decent game. Call it a game, seven yards. That makes it first and 10. They'll knock him down for a loss. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 35 yard line. And he makes it out to about the 34 yard line. Quick release. Oh, had it knocked down. Brett, I noticed during practice this week that this linebacker may be a wide receiver or running back in part. He's messing around during practice with some of the offensive skill players. Really, it pays off for him here as he's able to show enough instincts there to be able to knock that ball away. And he just drilled it from long range. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. On the counter, hit behind the line. Ouch. Pretty big loss on the play. I think they might want to reassess the strategy here. Perhaps run a screen. Maybe hit the tight end on a short pattern. This D-line is just a bit much to handle at this moment. Second and long. Ball on the 20. It's a fumble. Picked up by the defense. And he's taken down at the 12-yard line. The offense ready to go again. And their last drive ended with three points. Mike 
He's tackled around the four-yard line. So they give it to the fullback, and he's able to get him eight on the carry. That brings in second and nine. Give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. The defense was playing the run all the way, and they got it right. Nice work. Kicks away, and it sails through the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Blue 14! Blue 14! Give to the tailback. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. And this is still anyone's ball game as we head into the final quarter of play. 23-10, Navy. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Let's go! Maybe a yard on that draw play. That's, That's good, good for a gain, gain of one yard. yard. Third and eight. It's third down, eight to go. Ball on the 27. Let's go, let's go. Hey, we got Mike. You know, the offensive play calling wasn't clicking on that last drive, and their execution was lacking. Fourth down. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. Booming kick. And he's tackled at the 32. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He's at midfield. Tackle made right around the 48-yard line. That's a game of First down. Mike 34. Mike 34. He's taken down at about the 47-yard line. And he's tackled around the 25-yard line. What is going on with his defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs, and they're executing well. But the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. And he will score. He makes the PAT, a five-play, 68-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, not only did they put points up on the board, but I think it's the way they did it. That could be demoralizing for a defense. So our score, 30-10.
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Navy's defense has really been impressive, especially these last couple of drives. Yeah, now you start to think about how this team has played defensively, and what it's done is set up their own offense with really good field position to give them a chance to be able to extend this lead. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. From their own 23 yard line, it's second down. Here we go! Nice run up the middle. So they get five yards there on the halfback draw. That makes it third and seven. about the 33 yard line. He made the catch, but he didn't get the first down. Yeah, right now, the way this defense is swarming, there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down. Less than three minutes in the game. Fires it out. Tackle around the 47 yard line. And he might want it all here and does. Incomplete. Number 10, the intended receiver on the play. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 47. The offense is going to stay on the field and try to convert another fourth down. Let's go, let's go. Hey, we got Mike. White, 80. White, 80. Motion, motion. Reset. Reset. And down he goes around the 19-yard line. Safety, who came from the secondary, who made the sack. Man, this is an aggressive defense. Another blitz, and again, it works out. They send guys from everywhere to get to this quarterback. Third and 11. Ball on the 20. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. And that was such a good job of reading the coverage and knowing where his receivers were. Any coach in the country would be thrilled to see that kind of composure, especially on third down. And this is the 12th play of the drive. Scrambling around. Makes a shot into the end zone. Touchdown. And so he found his receiver for the score. And the closer you get to the end zone, the more difficult it becomes to throw the football because the field becomes much smaller to work with. But they did a very nice job there to come up with the touchdown. And he adds the extra point. At 
the 43. It's what they had to do, and everybody in the stadium knew it was coming. Such small odds for recovery in that case. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. He has some room. The 10. Touchdown, midshipman. And he hits the PAT. Navy, kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Brad, this is my kind of game. I love seeing this kind of production and the way these quarterbacks are playing. Both teams are challenging both of these defenses. And as the defense comes back out, you can be sure they're thinking about that score they surrendered the last time around. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack the defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterbacks put the ball right on the money. From their own 25-yard line, second down. And this quarterback is tough as nails, Brad. He's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure or just to throw the ball before you get hit. He's going to go for the home run. Keeps his eye on it, makes the catch, and he hits him hard at the 26-yard line. What a huge letdown by the defense on a big third down play. Man, that is just inexcusable. We have less than a minute to go. Catches it, and that's all. Well-designed route and a confidently thrown football by the quarterback. You need those things to make any offense work. They're about four yards away here on second down. This one's going deep to the end zone. He's got it. Touchdown, USF. And he converts the extra point. Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over at our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying it with a big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. The offense was able to punch it in the end zone on that last drive. They'll come back out looking for more of the same. Well, I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And one thing is that any defensive coordinator would tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. And he's sacked. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. So the big blow comes from the defense. They come up with the stop of the day, and that'll ice this football game. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. South Florida will use their final timeout. Favorite play in football of your quarterback. Take a knee. So much scoring and so much fun. And finally, it's over. Navy, 37, South Florida, 24. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.